Hello, this is Leah Dixon from Port Coquitlam. I am coming to you this morning with a cute fruits card. And so I'm actually going to be using some fairly non-traditional colors this morning, though, for, um, for this card. I'm going to be stamping with Smoky Slate, Cabana, and Pretty Peacock to create just the most adorable little card. So this stamp set is one that um, I think has been overlooked in our catalog, mostly because it's not in our main catalog or in our annual catalog. It can only be found in our beginner's brochure. And so I, I've seen a few cards created with it and I went searching for it, found it, and I've got it here to create with for you guys today. Um, so let's get started. I have a pool party base and so this is just a standard card base um, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and that is going to be the background for our card. Now I'm also going to bring in um, a piece of Forever Greenery DSP. So this DSP is actually on sale right now. Um, this and about, I don't know, 20 other, um, 20 other DSPs. So it's pretty awesome. It's on sale for $13.39 for a pack. Um, and you get, I believe, 12 sheets, 12, 12 by 12 sheets. Um, so it's really, really beautiful. So we're going to just put some glue on the back of this. So this piece of DSP has been cut at four by five and a quarter so that it will layer nicely. Good morning, Ruth. And so we'll pop that on there. Just try and line it up. Now, I love using the glue because it does allow me to kind of wiggle things around and line them up. All right. So there we go. We have our DSP put on as our background. And then we're going to get busy doing some stamping. And we're also going to do a little bit of die cutting today. So I am going to grab just a half inch strip of Whisper White cardstock. And length doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna use my snips and um, cut it up once I've done my stamping. So I've got the sentiment, I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend, and I'm going to ink it up in Pretty Peacock ink, um, which is one of the colors in our DSP, which is why I chose the color I chose. All right, so we're gonna stamp that on there, and then we can put that ink to the side. And I'm just going to trim this up just a little bit. Um, and then I can put that back. I just have a drawer full of Whisper White scraps beside me, so I always have those handy little half-inch strips. And then I am going to grab my Tailored Tag Punch. This is my favorite way to create a little banner. Um, I know we have the banner punch now, but um, old habits die hard. This is still my go-to way. <laughs> All right, so we've created a little banner. Now we're going to grab um, just a piece, a scrap piece of paper, and I'm going to stamp some pineapples on here. We're gonna do two of them and then hand cut them. And so for the actual pineapple part, instead of a traditional yellow or orange, brown maybe, I am actually going to use Coastal Cabana and ink that up. There we go. And so as you can see, it's a solid image. And if your ink pads are too juicy, this will get like a little bubbly because it is such a solid image. So you want to just maybe grab a bone folder or something and scrape some of the excess liquidiness of your ink pad off to the side if you've got a particularly juicy one. Mine aren't, which is nice. Um, my Coastal Cabana gets far too much use. <laughs> All right, and then for the tops of our pineapples, I'm actually going to use Smoky Slate. All right, and pop in there, stamp that. There we go, and that one. So these line up very easily as well. They're very, very simple stamps to use. The um, 
like the two step stamping to get the two colors is not complicated at all on these cards. All right, so with that done, I am going to fussy cut these. So I'm gonna just get started here and I'm leaving a little bit of a border. It actually looks quite good with a bit of a border just because the image itself has the white border in it to like allow the fruit to stand out and everything. So leaving a little white border around the outside looks just fine as well. All right, so I'm gonna come in like that. Now I'm actually just gonna cut this one free. Okay, so while I am fussy cutting, I'll just let you know about a few things that are going on. I'm just gonna bring my little garbage bin in here. Um, so right now we actually have a DSP sale going on. It's now until October 31st on select DSPs and there actually are quite a few of them. I have a blog post at stampinwithleah.ca that actually has little images of each and every one that is on sale right now. Um, and so it's 15% off, which is really nice because it saves you taxes and then some. Um, so yeah, check those out. And now is a great time to stock up on some DSP. There's some from both the annual catalog as well as our mini catalog. So that's kind of nice. And um, I also have the deadline for some classes coming up. I believe today or tomorrow is the deadline for my In the Pines card class that's coming up. Um, if you have not worked with the In the Pines stamp set and dies, you really need to. The DSP sale? No, Ruth, it ends on the 31st. Um, so you've got some time to do some shopping. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then my In the Pines, you might be right that it, that ends on the 15th. I'm not sure. I'm really bad about deadlines for my card classes. I, for some reason, get the dates in my head of when the classes are, but I um, always forget when my deadlines for registering are. This whole like remote need to pre-order everything um, is really hard on my brain. All right, we'll put that to the side. We don't need that anymore. Um, oh, good morning, Val. So yeah, so we've got my In the Pines class coming up and um, registration still open for that. Registration for my gnomes class just ended. So if you missed out on that one, um, you can always get in on my gnomes class by calling me and booking a private party. I will um, uh, do more prep and everything if I've got a private group that you wanted me to do that class with. But otherwise, um, the actual card class of my own is closed. Um, this weekend, I also have an online workshop going on. Now, I do have a separate group started for that. Um, I don't want to kind of bog down this site with a whole bunch of information about my workshops. And so I created a second um, group called um, Online Workshop. Um, and so you can actually, I'll post the link to that after our video, and you can actually join that group. And about once a month, I do an online workshop. So basically what that means is I actually demo four cards, three or four. I think this month I'm going to be doing four. Um, and then at the end of it, I have an ordering special. If you place a $60 order with me, you'll actually get all the card bits needed and the PDF to recreate the cards that I demoed in the online workshop. Um, and with an $80 order, you get the PDF, the card bits, and an embellishment. So just kind of a fun way to take a class without having to like pre-order and not really know what you're what you're going to be getting you'll get to see all the cards first and so you'll know exactly what you're receiving when you basically sign up for the card class by placing an order um so yeah that's happening this saturday the 17th it goes live at 9 a.m but the actual workshop itself stays open for the whole weekend so you can kind of watch it at your leisure on saturday or sunday and then um i usually have my ordering deadline 
late Sunday night so that I can place the order on Monday morning. All right, so I'm going to set aside the pineapples now. And I've got this little piece, and we're going to go grab the stamping cut and emboss machine. And we're going to cut out one of the So Sweetly Stitched pieces. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. So here is my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I've got my plate one, plate two, plate three. Oh, let's put the wrecked one down. There we go. Plate three. And then I'm gonna put down my paper. Now these are my so sweetly stitched dies. You'll see me use these a lot. The scalloped rectangles and then these fun labels. I just can't get enough of them. So there we go. I'm going to grab this one, my favorite label. All right, my second plate three. There's my sandwich completed. And then I'm just going to roll this through. All right. So for those of you who um, were watching my posts a while ago about organizing my office and stuff like that, you would be happy to know that um, my office did get organized. I showed those photos, but that I've actually managed to maintain it now for like almost two weeks. So I am pretty impressed. I'm getting really good at actually cleaning up even during my lives instead of leaving a giant mess all over my office. Um, Yes, it's the Forever Greenery DSP. It is just gorgeous. All right, so we have all of our bits here now. And we're going to actually start putting this card together. So I'm going to grab some dimension. Oh, I just dropped them. There we go. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. And good morning, Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm going to pop four of these on here because this label is going to be kind of holding the majority of our decorations on it so i want it definitely secure on our card front there we go and we're going to center it on our card there all right now next up are our pineapples and i'm going to kind of layer them on there and actually now that i'm looking at this i'm just wondering how it would look with a little gold hoop. Not sure. We'll just see. Oh, maybe, maybe not. The gold hoop isn't quite as big as I thought it was. Nope. All right, we'll just go with my original plan. <laughs> All right. So I've got these two little guys. I'm just going to grab some seal for one of them. And we're going to let this, whoops, get that primed. There we go. I'm going to let this one pineapple sit kind of lower. There we go. And we won't pop him up, but I am going to put him so he's kind of covering up that one corner. And now my other guy, we are going to pop him up with some dimensionals. So one at the top and one in the body. There. And just like that that guy on there and then I'm going to put my label across here but I'm only going to put a dimensional on one of the ends on the other end I'm just going to use a little bit of seal so that it doesn't sit lopsided because the one side is popped up and the other one isn't all right so with that done it's going to sit on one side and I am going to kind of like line that up in there there we go. So I've got a bit of seal here that's going to hold that down and then a dimensional there that's going to hold that side up. Okay, and now our finishing touch for this card is just going to be to add a few little sequins. So I'm going to grab some mini glue dots and I'm going to get some woven threads sequins. So these are not my usual favorites that already have the adhesive on the back. But I just adore this darker blue color, the pretty peacock sequins in here. So 
even though they're not sticky backed, which I prefer, I am going to use these ones. So I'm going to pull just some of those darker ones out. Oh, if I can. There's a tool for this. I don't know where mine is. <laughs> but there is a tool. The Take Your Pick tool actually makes this job a lot easier to just pull out the individual colors that you want. All right. Uh, nope. One more. There we go. All right, so I took out three of the larger Pretty Peacock sequins out of this mix. Oh, thank you. Um, the pineapple itself was Coastal Cabana. Yeah. I did think about doing the Bermuda Bay, but I just really liked the softer look of the Coastal Cabana. All right, so now I'm just putting a mini glue dot on the back of each of these sequins and then I'm going to pop them onto my card in my white spaces so that they really do stand out and rule of threes here threes always look good for some reason and one more here we go and voila all right so there are our sequins added to our card and that was just kind of the finishing touch so that is our card completed. And so you can see just how quick and easy that cute fruit is and what a difference color can make. Here's a card that I posted on my blog on the weekend, all done up in Bumblebee and Just Jade. And it is quite a different look. Also adding the smiley face, you know, changes it up. So I love that you can kind of get a little bit more of an elegant look with this very simple stamp set so i hope you guys enjoyed that and definitely if you haven't take a look at that cute fruit set i'm going to be posting cards all week with it i kind of went on a total crazy cute fruit stamping binge this weekend um so i have a ton to share with you and um yeah check out my facebook page so that you can see a full listing of my upcoming events and stuff and i um would love to see you at one of them. So have a great day. Thanks so much, Jacqueline and Val. <laughs> Bye.